A bit of a goal glut when you pit the East of Scotland League against the Premier Division. Those expectations were well and truly realised by Dunfermline today. Colin Miller grabbing the first of seven here after only three minutes. That was effectively that as far as the contest went. The next question was how long till the next goal? Answer, about four minutes. Greg Robertson providing the final touch before he had to limp off injured. A nightmare start then for Gordon Ray, two down in seven minutes. But Hope is supposed to spring eternal, and along those lines, Edinburgh City pulled a goal back. Robert Fogel kept on running when it seemed fairly pointless, and was rewarded when Andy Todd and Keeper Ian Westwater got in a real fan call. Something out of nothing for a delighted Robert Fogel. That goal seemed to really annoy Dunfermline's Andy Smith, because he then proceeded to reply with five of his own. First coming here just after the half-hour mark, let Dunfermline go in at the interval, comfortably ahead. The second half was 15 minutes old before Edinburgh City's goal was breached further. A fine running cross from Stuart Petrie, dispatched beyond Alan McIntosh by the head of Andy Smith. Who then proceeded to complete his hat-trick as Dunfermline moved into fifth gear. Again it was a header, this time the perfect looping cross supplied by Alan Moore. In case you've lost count, that's now 5-1 to Dunfermline. Number six came from the penalty spot. Michael Vaughan is late with his tackle on Alan Moore. But despite his protests, I'm no surprise to see Andy Smith at the front of the queue to take it. Nor is it a surprise that he's reminding us what his goal tally is now. Four. Dunfermline were clearly enjoying the afternoon's work now, with the game long since out of Edinburgh City's grasp. And with possibly their best move of the match, took the goal tally to a magnificent seven. George Shaw played it in, Andy Smith mopped up after McIntosh failed to claim. Great day's work for five goal Andy Smith. Now you'd think it's 7-1 down, that would be that. Not if you're Edinburgh City you don't. Well, with only a few minutes left, Tom Nolan marginally reduced the deficit, sending off a clever five-man move to come a well-deserved goal and send the City fans home in a slightly better mood. It may not have been the fairy tale they'd hoped for, but Edinburgh City have enjoyed their time in the limelight.